Hello everyone, welcome back to Stoneheart Me Bantos, we're back in my town Arcas and Uncle Stir has reached Fama level 5, that's awesome Stir, nice man. And uh, another tip by the way that I want to show you guys that I got from Twitch when we was uh, live streaming this game is that sometimes you might have a better time for actually doing the farming by removing hauling from your farms which means that they will spend all their time working on the farm doing their job instead of hauling the resources, so hauling would be done by other things, other people, for example the workers or the soldiers or whatever people that are going to carry it for you, so that will allow you to have the farmers to do the work better, so that's a pretty good thing I would say. So we got a farmer gems farm supplies here, not sure if we would like to buy anything really. Having some nice stuff though, like yak meat, we got pig meat, eggs, raw mutton and pollo meat. Let's buy some yak meat, that's really expensive by the way, 75 gold each. And let's see if we might have some to sell, would be good to trade some stuff. I like to do these um, paintings to sell pretty good, we're gonna see if we can find them. These ones, the wall mounted tapestry, they sell 32 gold, really good. Only takes 4 fibers, even though we don't really have super much fibers here with rice children. I've collected a few silkweed here, which should give us a little bit of uh, stuff to farm for it at least, so that's pretty good. And we even have a few more over here, so we do have quite a bit of them. But with dry children, we can also go out, you know, in the nature, we can find these tumbleweeds. They are pretty much all around, so there's a bunch of them. Even some more here, so I'm gonna collect those for some more silkweed, so we can produce more of those uh, tapestries, so we can sell them. And we maintain five for the moment, I think that's a pretty good amount, because we are not having a super big amount of uh, fiber normally. So we're trying to not use everything for it for the moment because we're gonna need it for like decorations and stuff like that. And we're gonna continue with the building up here on our castle area. So what I wanna do now is to continue this um, this wall from this building here. And we might change a few things like we did yesterday here with uh, these windows here. So we might change one or two windows, we might keep one I would see. Gonna remove them first to start with at least, and we're gonna make another wall here. So we're gonna do another wall here, and maybe, I don't know, we could make so this actually sticks out a bit. I'm not sure if we want to do that, but we could do if we want to. But I uh, don't think we need to do it actually. So we will have maybe one left here, outside. Maybe we should go all the way out, maybe we should go all the way out. So we're gonna continue this world for quite a bit, at least until this point, and then here we might do like another tower or something. We might even do another gate here, not sure if we will do that, we might do it. But all the way over here we're gonna continue with our wall. Okay, so we got some more walls going here, yeah, that's awesome. We still need to remove these. Okay, so we get some invaders again, an enemy. Oh, a big big stone golem. That was kinda long ago, we don't really fight them so often anymore. Like mostly it's uh, kobolds coming in and orcs and goblins and stuff like that. But the, these big ones, it was kinda some time since I saw here. They're not really that dangerous though, so that was a pretty easy battle for us. Okay, so we get this up here and uh, we need to have a door, this one, I'm gonna go for a red one to match the other door. Maybe have it sit there, I'm actually thinking of keeping like maybe one window. Keeping one there, I think that could be kinda nice actually. Then maybe we should have another one on this one then, just to match the other side. That's gonna be nice, a nice overlook, very very good overlook like I said in the latest video. And uh, perhaps, I'm not sure, like we might wanna have like another door here. Maybe not another stair, but we can like have another door at least. We have two ways to like go into this. But we only have this one stair, I don't feel like we need another stair to go up here, they can go through here, and then we need to actually make another door on this one. They can actually go through this. 
We do have a wall here, which we don't really have on this one. That should be pretty good. Maybe we should put some uh, nice stuff down here. Could even put some lights in there. Let's go for some, maybe some clay lamps. Like this one, we could put it like inside here. Maybe let's see if this thing will work. Oh, it doesn't work very good for custom walls. I actually was thinking that it would work better with um, freestanding walls than it do with slab, but it seems to be the same bad with it. Let's see if we can place one here. We have to move the one I place it here because it's going to go on the ground. But uh, this way we have a little bit of light in here and maybe, just maybe when I keep some uh, storage in here also. We can go for some large crates perhaps. Maybe two of them, and then we can go for some large urns, which is more like Ryan Shield and stuff. I wonder if we can't even put like a small one on top of the other one. I'm not sure how good that worked, but let's put one on top of that box there. I think that should work still pretty good. I'm gonna remove this one. They look really nice, by the way. I really, really like the clay lamps. They look really, really nice. Okay, so we're reaching here, and um, we need to do more here this side. I wonder if we want to have another gate. I almost feel like I want to have some sort of gate. Maybe not a gate, maybe more like an arcway. Let's do like an arcway here, just to make it interesting. Because this is going to curve here. We might have another tower here. I think this would be kind of a good spot for it. And that would be a good tower for overlooking down to the town from up here. Yeah, that should be a pretty good place. So let's maybe do the tower before we do the wall. Maybe a 10 by 10 tower. Doesn't need to be super big. I think that should work pretty good. Maybe we can make it 11 by 11. Let's do it 11 by 11. So it will be a little bit maybe interesting down here. I guess we should add some support under this thing. That should be some pretty good support. Something like that should be pretty good. Maybe one more like that. So let's do the tower. We're gonna keep it kind of the same theme as we got for the other towers, just so we Make sure everything's gonna like work and go together really, really nicely. Today we got the first floor, we should be able to put a door there, yeah. So now we should be able to, I think we should be able to connect the, the tower to the wall. Something like that should be nice. It'd be interesting to see because we might build this entire area in just one big build, or at least a lot of it will be in one big build, pretty much. I'm thinking of continuing with this um, the wall thing, like actually around this tower. Like I'm gonna see how that is gonna look. I think that would look kind of nice, actually. So this is like reddish and maybe that the beige thing continues around this. I think that might make it look kind of nice actually. It would be different than other ones though, so we will see what we do with it. So let's put another door here. And here it looks a little bit different because we have the stair here, so... Perhaps it goes out here, but we didn't really need to make so it goes out here. Or actually it has to go out like that, yeah. But I think it looks pretty nice, though. So what I was thinking, if we do this thing and we make this like go around here, we're gonna see how it looks and we're gonna see if we like it or if we do not like it.
So I think it looks pretty good actually. So let's do it for this side. And I guess we just go to this place for now with it. For invaders. We have some ogres coming in, some kobolds coming in to battle with us and Arcus. Not gonna let them stand for too long. People are pretty far away, so let's rally our troops. So the tower is getting up, the ogres want to smash our door. They're always gonna smash the door like... The doors are like an... It's like a tank for the ogres or something. I think we have to meet up somewhere, so we come in a unified troop. The footmans love to run before everyone else, so that's, that's why we're in trouble sometimes with them. Hope they're gonna change so maybe they don't run away like that. Like when they're close to the um, combat, I think they could run in quick, but it's kind of annoying also when you know they run away from the foot from the knights and they have no healer with them, they have no tanks with them. They just run in and die pretty much. It's just like World of Warcraft, the Leroy Yankings going in pretty much. Guess we should be getting them down pretty good. I'm actually taking down like the tanks first. Normally I do not go for them. Gonna get the archers after. Take this weak one. This is a really weak one, but these ones, they are pretty tough to be honest. Come on, little Cabal, you're not getting away from him, man. They are so powerful. They are so powerful, and they're not even tanks. <laughs> it's so crazy. They're running away so far. Let's take this guy first. This guy can run back to us when he feels ready, prepared to fight us again. And I really, really do recommend like getting archers and getting the slow quiver. It helps so much with taking out these archers. You don't run around as much. They still around, around, or run around a lot, but uh, not as much as before, at least. Okay, so we got them, guys. They're down. Let's see how many people are feeling with this new mood for Alpha 20. Everyone is feeling pretty much content. I think a big problem with our town is this for the moment since Alpha 20 came out is that no one actually, like, not many at least, have their very own beds. Slept on the ground. We even have people who are sleeping on the ground still. We have so many people. And uh, that's one thing I would say with the game, like, it's really, really hard to keep up with um, beds for everyone. That's one of the things that I think is almost the hardest in this game, to keep up with beds. With the amount of people you get, so... Something we have to solve eventually, I just think that... For the moment it's really hard, like, you can get them to, like, sleep on the ground, but... Um, that's not, like, the best place, I would guess. Doesn't sound very nice to them. Okay, so we got a tower here, and uh, we're gonna make something similar to this, I guess. We need a place to get up to it. Get us some stairs. We're gonna put it... Let's see where we can put it. We don't have a super good place for it, really. Maybe this side. I think that should be good. So we're getting up here then, and let's get a floor. Like that, pretty nice. Then we're gonna do these uh, things around like we have for the other ones. Pretty good. Let's get some of this uh, stuff that we have here upon on top of this. So maybe we can have this a little bit different than the other ones. The top will be a little bit different. Like we don't have these things on this one. I think that's nice. It still looks like a similar theme, but it still looks like a different tower. So let's go for, maybe, let's do this first. So under these we can do this thing again. See how that's gonna look. Maybe we can even do, I don't know, like if we wanna do it at the corners here also. Maybe we can do it, let's try it out and see how it looks. I kinda like how that looks, I think it looks pretty nice. 
But maybe it should even be combined like that. So I think that looks pretty sweet. And then we can add even more. <laughs> I don't know if we want to do that. But it, it looks really nice. I'm not sure how it will be the windows. The windows might be not having so much space for it. But I just think it could look pretty nice. So let's see how this will look at least first. We'll get some window. Let's see how they're gonna work here with some windows. It will be sitting a little bit different. Maybe we can go for different windows for this tower. Maybe we can have them like low windows like that. So maybe go something like that. I kind of like how that tower also looks. Like, it's a little bit different than the other ones, but I still think it looks nice. Like, these two are the same, this one is a little bit different version, this is another version. But I think that's pretty nice, guys. So, let's see if we can do some wall here, maybe. As to at least prepare, so we probably need to, like, remove this one. But we're getting pretty deep into this, so we're not gonna make it like longer than we have now. So this will be the end of the wall for now at least. Then we have to figure out how we want this like more like a castle palace area, how the, it should be looking. So that is like the next thing we really need to figure out and... Uh, that's gonna be a lot of uh, designing and uh, thinking out how we wanna do it to make it look really nice. I'm kind of having an idea of trying to make it like as an, you know, this like roundish roof that they're uh, having more eastern places. Not sure if that would be nice. Not sure what you guys think about it. It sounds like an interesting idea at least, I think. Maybe that corner will make slightly different. Not sure how we should do in this corner here. Maybe we do... let's do it like that for the corner. Yeah, let's keep it like that and it will be looking the same for both at least. So we got some trader coming in here who wants uh, 13 clay oil lamps and we get uh, 9 potter's cutter. Wow, 9 potter's cutter, 9 tools. Uh, I don't want to do that, we don't really need that. So let's decline that one. But yeah, that's nice. We're getting further with this. That's awesome. We probably need to change a few things here also to make the door sit good. So, for example, we're going to remove this one. Make it better, I think. Yeah, that's better. And maybe we can add another lamp here. We need some lights here later. Maybe close the door. Yeah, that's better. And let's have another one at this door. So I think we will soon, soon, soon build this, actually. And uh, then we will start at this place and we will start building that also. But I think it's looking pretty good, guys. This I know this is a really, really long build and I hope it doesn't get too boring. If it does get too boring that you think that we're doing the same place over and over, let, let me know, guys, and I will make it into like more of a speed build and we will be speed building a lot more. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, so leave it a like if you did, and feel free to check out my Twitch channel as well. The link to that is in the video description of each video. So it would be really fun to have you in there when we're playing Stoneheart, some other games, Planet Coaster, Ruin World, and some other games in the future as well, which is Conan Exiles also, another game coming to the channel soon. So guys, thanks for being here today, hope you all had a great, great time, and uh, hope to see you soon again. So thanks for watching, have a great day, and take care guys.